Hi YouTube, my name is Drew and you're watching Drew's Toy Reviews. Today I'm going to be showing you a character from my all-time favorite video game. Uh, I believe it was released in 1995 but designed in 1993, The Day of the Tentacle. It was produced by LucasArts and um, it was created in a, a time when there was a, a lot of really good games like Sam and Max and uh, Indiana Jones and they're all just point and click games but I, I really like the storyline. Now this is a character that you won't see or find anywhere else in the world, or at least not exactly the same, uh, because I created this out of Sculpey Clay. It's um, a really cool product that you can use to sculpt your own action figures or whatnot, um, and then you can paint it afterwards. Basically, the story goes that uh, Purple Tentacle and Green Tentacle are out at a stream and uh, where there's some toxic waste and Purple Tentacle decides that he's going to try some of this disgusting waste water and he becomes super evil, super intelligent and he grows arms and decides that he's going to take over the world. Now another character called Dr. Fred decides that this can't happen so he wants to send back Bernard, Hoagie and Laverne to stop Purple Tentacle before this happens but unfortunately due to a uh, fake diamond and an, a non-working time machine called the Chronogon they are sent into three different time periods and they must share items in order to complete the puzzles and ultimately stop Purple Tentacle. It sounds confusing but really it's a really unique cool clever game and very typical of the early 90s. Okay you're probably wondering how I made this little guy. I used the Super Sculpey Living Doll light colored Sculpey clay. I picked it up for $20 at Desaire's art store. You can also get it at Michael's or pretty much any other craft store. Once you put it in the oven for 15 minutes at 275 degrees Celsius, your character becomes very hard just like any other action figure. Now I started off by using just some regular tin foil and uh, rolling it into a cone shape which is what I use for the, the body of this guy in order to make it um, the right size and also not to use up all of my clay right out in one go. And then I just proceeded to shape it. I looked at pictures on the internet and um, I just really tried to keep all of the sizes consistent and uh, rolled it out equally and then position the hands in the right way. And uh, now I'm just going to paint it with my acrylic paint. Okay, here's the purple tentacle. He's all finished up. Uh, I may give him one more coat of purple in the future just because it's not completely um, finished. You can see through it a little bit at certain spots. But uh, for now, I'm going to leave him like this. And make sure to subscribe if you want to check out any more of my videos. I'm thinking of maybe making some more of the Day of the Tentacle characters. So uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.